So what's up guys, Sam here, and today we're finally going to take a look at my completed DSLR rig. This has been something I've been putting together using various parts over the past year, and it is finally in its completed stage. Now, the idea behind a rig is to make your workflow as efficient as possible whilst also allowing you to capture high quality video and audio, and I've experimented with different pieces of gear to add to my rig and have come up with what I think is the perfect setup for me. So let's start at the centerpiece of this rig, the camera. Most of you should know that I still shoot with my Canon T3i and whilst at the moment I have no real need to upgrade, I have made this rig future proof as well. So if I was to invest in a Sony a7S Mark II or an a6500, then I made sure that most of this setup will easily adapt to that newer camera as well. Now, although technically not quite part of the rig, I did want to mention the lenses that I use and you can find reviews for each of them on my channel. But the two lenses I use most as of this video are my Samyang 24mm T 1.5 and believe it or not, my cheapest chips, Canon 50mm f1.8 and in fact I would even contest that the Canon has been used the most over the past few months which is crazy and it's why I cannot recommend it enough. I do also own a Samyang 14mm T 3.1 cine lens but believe it or not I've actually found myself using this lens less and less as of late. It's still very handy to own but if I had to recommend which lenses to buy it'd be the Canon 50mm and the Samyang 24mm. Moving on to the cage that keeps my setup rock solid and I actually purchased this from eBay and it did not have any specific branding attached but I will link it in the description but I've also found the exact same one by a company called Camvate on Amazon which I'll also link in the description. This cage is super well built for its low price tag and I could not recommend it anymore. It comes with two different length size rods which means you can use this with virtually any size camera including bigger ones such as the Canon C100 and smaller ones such as the A6500. It's only designed to wrap around one side of the camera and it also comes with this super neat wooden side handle which gives you a comfortable grip in which to hold your camera. Like most cages should, not only does it screw into the bottom quarter inch thread of your camera but it also slides in and secures really firmly to the hot shoe meaning this cage ain't going nowhere. From there we move to the top handle and again I picked this one up on eBay for just under 50 bucks and this gives the setup great portability and it also features extra tapped mounting points on the front and a cold shoe mount on the top for attaching extra gear such as a monitor, light or microphone. Now some people may be skeptical about the need for a top handle but I use this thing every day to carry my camera around so without a doubt I will always look to have a top handle on my camera. Moving to the side and the latest addition to this rig is the Rode VideoMic Pro. Now the reason I went with this microphone over the other cheaper Rode video microphones is all because of the plus 20 dB feature and this is necessary when using cheaper Canon cameras because the inbuilt preamps generate lots of noise so you need your microphone to be super loud so you can decrease the volume to remove as much of that noise as possible. For comparison's sake, here is a sample of audio recorded without the plus 20 dB turned on. Testing, one, two, three, testing. And here's with the 20 dB turned on. Testing, one, two, three, testing. Had this been a Sony or Panasonic camera, I would have happily gone with the Rode Video Micro because I love that compact size and the fact that it's powered from the camera and the preamps are much better in those cameras, but the Video Mic Pro does capture some great quality audio. Now moving to an additional part of this rig, which I'll be honest, isn't always attached because it does add significant bulk, but that is these 15 millimeter rods. And the reason I use them is to attach this external battery supply to this setup. Now I'm not gonna go in depth on this battery supply because I've done a full review before, which I'll have linked down below, but basically this powers your camera using Sony MP batteries and a dummy battery adapter, which can give your camera up to eight hours of recording. I will say that it has become somewhat temperamental since that original review, hence why I don't always use it, but it is very handy having it for when I need to do long shoots. Aside from that, I use Arca Swiss quick release plates and adapters on all my gear and tripods, which means changing between different tripods and so forth is super quick, and I cannot recommend getting onto this as early as possible. But aside from that, that's my entire DSLR rig. If you have any questions about each item, please put them in the comments below, and as previously mentioned, links to each individual item will also be in the description. But anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later.